guys, it's Jay, aka That So Jay here. Um, before I start this vlog, I just want to say that I have finally uploaded my website. I'm super, super excited. That's so Jay.com. Um, so just make sure you guys go click on it. It's going to be down in the description box. It has everything. DIY, decor, it'll have a link to my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all of my social media accounts. And it will also have some dis different blog posts that I'm going to be posting. I'm going to try to blog like every week or so. I just started, so forgive me if I'm not as consistent. Um, this is going to be a day in the life of my career. I'm a speech language pathologist assistant. I like to say assistant because I want people to understand the difference between having a bachelor's and having a master's. I'm not going to go in full detail because I actually wrote a whole blog post about it. So if you want to know more... Um, definitely go on my website and check out exactly what I wrote. So I'm just going to show you guys as much as I can because I've been getting so many messages about what I do all day at work. You know, if I work at a school, why aren't I like a teacher? Just showing as much as I can. I can't show my students because of just like HIPAA laws, but I'm just going to kind of show what I do pretty much to give you guys like an idea. So just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so this is like a disclaimer because it is really cold outside. We actually just had two snow days. Surprisingly, finally had snow days because it snows all the freaking time here. And, like, I don't know. Even though I'm from New Jersey, I just feel like I still just hate snow. I'm just not a winter snow person at all. So, and my car, my car is just not meant for this kind of weather, like... My little baby just be sliding away and I'll just be like, Lord, please don't let me get in no accident because I don't got time. Alright, you guys, so I am here and I'm just gonna do a little scan through. I actually share this classroom with the ESL teacher, so that's why it's so big. I'm gonna show you the other little designated speech room. It's so tiny. But right now I've already seen about three groups of students. It is currently 10, 11, and this was the activity we did today. I made these little uh, snow placemats, and I actually posted a picture of this on Instagram, and I've been trying to incorporate Play-Doh more, especially dealing with ASD preschoolers. It can be very challenging to actually get them to sit down and participate in speech, and I actually joined a Facebook group that's been giving me a lot of implement on different things. So here I have my two binders and these binders I literally live by so this binder kind of tells me when I collect my data which I'm actually about to do right now is my therapy daily notes and I just kind of write down what we did um, how they did taking data um, I'm also I also do these placements I've been laminating everything like, this is the activity I got from Teachers Pay Teachers answering yes or no questions. So this is actually my laminator that I actually bring because sometimes I'll print off last minute assignments and want to laminate them and use Play-Doh or any kind of chips. I'm in love with Play-Doh and just any kind of sensory um, activities are so good, especially with ASD preschoolers because it can be a challenge getting them to actually sit down. Um, this is also a little OCD. I actually have on a dress, but I have on really thick leggings because, you guys, it is freezing outside. But it's super hot in here. So I will be trying to just show as much as I can. So we're going to cover, we're going to take off our blue bits of Play-Doh. And every time you get one right, we're going to cover the snowflake, okay? Just like that. Put our Play-Doh on it. This one. Okay. So I'm going to do our action card. All right, so you gotta tell me what's going on. Hey guys, so I'm back, also showing you guys on another day here. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be posting more videos, just kind of showing my journey here, working as an SLPA. This is, I'm still within like my first year of just, you know, working for this contracting company. I've learned so much. Um, you know, I originally was working for my first SLPA job in Seattle and now in the Boston area. So it's just pretty exciting to travel and just to get to meet, you know, different people in this field, make more connections, network, and just grow and learn. Um, I am applying to a graduate program, 
hopefully next year, just depending on how things work out. And, you know, I just want to continue to get completely certified because I love this field. I've learned so much. I love working with children. I enjoy working at this school. And I want to continue to use all of my social media platforms for people to learn about this field and the opportunities that they have with a bachelor's degree. And to also motivate people to not stop at a bachelor's degree, but to always continue to get your master's. But just to know that there are opportunities, job opportunities for you with the degree that you may have at the moment. So yeah, so stay tuned for more videos and posts from that subject.